to our guest today. Um, you will know her as one of EastEnders fiery Slater sisters, that's Stacey. But away from Albert Square, Lacey Turner has opened up about her road to motherhood after two heartbreaking miscarriages before the safe arrival of her first miracle baby, Dusty. That was almost two years ago now. And now there's a new addition, a little boy who arrived a little bit early, actually, a month ago. Um, so it's lovely to welcome her. Stacey, lovely. I mean, Lacey, I've done it already, <laughs> Stacey. No, I would do that. <laughs> Stacey, Lacey, Lacey, Stacey. I'm you know. used to it. You're used to it. I knew I'd do it. Anyway, <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Lacey. And congratulations. Yeah. Um, tell Thank us about you your much. little one. Oh, he's lovely. He's really sweet. I, can't, I still can't believe I have a boy. I never thought I would ever get a boy. I come from a family of, like mainly girls so to have a boy it was so weird um, i was so shocked he's beautiful we're just looking at pictures of him with dusty oh. there um his name trilby <laughs> very unusual name where did that come from do you know i actually worked with a girl years ago and she had a sister called trilby fox their surname was fox and um i just loved the name i thought it was so cool um so i thought i'd say that if i ever get a boy never thinking i would um, so, yeah, that's that's where it came from, really. But I have to say to people, Trilby is in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your waters broke, didn't they? Which is actually quite unusual. So we came, like, a month early. That must have been a big surprise for you. Yeah, I was, so, I was sitting here minding my own business, um, <laughs> went up to bed. I hadn't packed a hospital bag or anything. I'd got the case down, ready to pack it that week. You know, with the second one, you're just so laid back, aren't you? You're yeah. like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, I'd washed a few, like, baby grows, but that was it. And then I, I went to go to bed and it was like, whoosh. And I thought that only happened in film. So I was like, surely not. And I thought, oh, no, I can't. I'm so tired. So I got into bed and pretended it wasn't happening. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and I thought, I can't, I can't do this. I phoned them up and they said, you better come in now. So I threw some mini eggs in the case and a nighty. And off I went. So you need oh, some yes, I was coming home. I mean, we're, you know, you're, we're laughing at it now, but actually a baby coming early is always a worry. How, how scared were you at that point? Well, do you know what? I was born a month early, so I wasn't too scared. Um, but I, I, I think the scary bit for me was after when he was born and he was so tiny and he had loads of tubes and everything. That sort of frightened me more than anything. Mm. And um, Lacey, Matt wasn't allowed to be with you, was he, all the time at the hospital? No, so I had to go in by myself, let them examine me, and then they said he could come up because I wasn't going home. Um, and he had to leave. He was there throughout the whole birth, which, thank goodness, because I think it'd be really, really hard and horrible to do that on your own. And I know so many women had to do that at the beginning of this pandemic. So um, I was really grateful that he could be there. But two hours after, he, he had to go. So, um, and Trilby was sort of whisked away straight away. So he didn't really get much of a chance to see him. Um, but I was sort of found myself panicking, thinking, right, I've got two hours to, I need him to come to the shower with me to help me. Um, so I sort of found myself like, rush, I had to rush out the bed, just give him birth. And I thought, right, I'll get up, have a shower so that he could, you know, help me with anything that I needed. But luckily I was sort of quite, able and everything it, it, some women aren't so that that must be really really hard there's one thing i've got to ask you what was the decision uh, behind going back to work just a week later <laughs> i can't quite believe that you must be wonderful do you know woman. what i had a really quick birth so i didn't really get a chance to sweat or or you know other than losing that night's sleep i um i didn't really have a really tough time so I didn't have much to recover from and because I didn't have him the night that I'd um, given birth to him I had a whole night's sleep so I actually felt really good and I had two I had about three scenes left to shoot so I thought you know what I'm gonna go in next week I'll give myself I think it was five days and I rang them and I said listen don't panic I'll, I'll come in um, I'll just do a couple of mornings and then um, and then I'll be done. Otherwise, I've sort of got to wait a month and then I forget what I've done and what I haven't done and what Stacey's meant to be doing. And um, so I thought I'll just go in and, and I'll do it and it'll be done. And it was lovely, actually. <laughs> but we think, that, that. we think that's incredible. <laughs> um, your little girl, Dusty, uh, she's, what, 18 months now. So yes. what does she make of her baby brother? What kind of sister is she already? 
well, she, do you know what? She's so amazing. She's incredibly bossy, um, <laughs> but she's great. She's the best babysitter I've ever had. Um, <laughs> she puts his dummy in, she rocks him. She And I've got a pram that's sort of her height that is a, an actual baby's pram, not a doll's pram. Um, so she pushes him around the kitchen. It's brilliant. She she absolutely loves him, but she's become really cockney and she just calls him brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, there's a part for it. Maybe there's a part of her in EastEnders, Lucy. <laughs> I know. God help me. <laughs> <laughs> and how And how are you coping with two little ones now? Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, it's hard. It has its hard moments. Um, you know, I miss my sleep, my dear old friend's sleep. That's gone. Um, but it is so lovely. Um, it'll be nice when we can go out and, you know, you can do more things than just go for a walk and go to the park. I think that bit's tough. <clears throat> but other than that, it's it's lovely having two and it's lovely seeing them together and um, just how much she loves him is it's, it just yeah. fills your heart, really. Well, listen, we, we know your road to being a parent wasn't the easiest, um, and so we're really thrilled for you with your two beautiful babies. Uh, congratulations to you and Matt. Thank and you. And um, take care of yourselves and those little ones, and we'll see you soon. I will. Thank you so see much. You. Bye, bye, bye. 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 See ya.